In this video I'm going to illustrate how you can configure the prompter output using the prompter preview pane. All this configuration can be done whilst prompting is on and active. To enable the configuration, click in the burger and then layout. This will introduce some extra arrows into this pane. The top left arrow enables you to change the interline spacing of the text. Left click and drag it down and that will increase the interline spacing. Drag it up and it will decrease the interline spacing. The bottom left arrow enables you to adjust the left margin. Pulling this to the right will increase the margin on the left. Pulling it back to the left will decrease the margin. The arrow on the right, pull it to the left and that will increase the right margin. Pull it to the right and it will decrease the right margin. The two arrows in the middle determine the position and the visibility of the cue marker. If I now click on the right cue marker arrow, the cue marker will now move to the right hand side of the prompt output. If I click again to the left, it will move to the left. Clicking the arrow will now remove the cue marker from the output. The output will then automatically resize to use the space occupied by the cue marker. If I now click on the right arrow, the cue marker will appear on the right. Clicking it again will remove it. Once you are happy with the way that you have configured the layout, you can click on the burger and then uncheck layout. If you'd like to reset the layout, click on the burger, layout, the burger again, reset layout, burger again and then uncheck layout.